This is your Weather Extreme video for Saturday, April the 14th. Hope everybody survived Friday the 13th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. And it looks like we have a beautiful day in store for central Alabama. There's a look at the Alpha SkyCam network from Mount Cheha, and certainly some little a bit of uh, what appear to be high clouds across uh, the eastern part of the state. And as we look at the sunrise shot from Birmingham, and several of the SkyCam network shots showed something similar, we see a good amount of cirrus over there. There's no real serious weather for us, at least through about uh, Tuesday, but it looks like there is a high risk out across the Central Plain states. Uh, high risk in a couple of spots all the way from the uh, eastern parts of uh, Nebraska across Kansas into Oklahoma, and all of that surrounded by a moderate risk. So a big severe weather day in store for that particular area. This is day one. When we look at day two, the slight risk, uh, severe weather risk uh, extends up into the area of uh, uh, Wisconsin and uh, northern Illinois and across some of the Mississippi, the lower Mississippi River Valley from uh, just south of St. Louis across the Shreveport area and down to the vicinity of Houston. The uh, forecast models are indicating a good deal of Cape out in, uh, this is uh, the HRR model out into the afternoon hours. This is a 2300Z, so this is, uh, what's that, about uh, 6 p.m. or so, and you can see the uh, Cape values way up there, all the way from about 2500 all the way up to uh, nearly, well, probably uh, close to 4500 And then if we look at the uh, helicity values, the helicity value is also uh, very respectable out there. Uh, a little ahead of the system, we've got some values into the 600s uh, or approaching 600, whereas uh, back a little closer to where the Cape values are. So you can see why that area is being outlooked uh, for a uh, high risk. On a surface map, of course, high pressure is just off the outer banks and centered off the outer banks, and that is uh, bringing good weather across our area. Again, with the upper flow, we're seeing some cirrus as a result of uh, the uh, kind of southwesterly flow, and we have a, a double pattern here. We have a pattern of a ridge over the eastern half of the country, and then we have the big trough coming into the Four Corners area. Temperature-wise, of course, ahead of that uh, big trough, and as the ridge builds up in the eastern part of the country, temperatures are very warm. I mean, this is April, and yet look at the uh, 50s, uh, lower 50s, uh, just after 6 a.m. all the way up into um, the eastern Great Lakes. Across central Alabama, just a few days ago, we were dealing with some patchy frost, and now here we are. We've got temperatures primarily in the uh, 50s across central Alabama, a little bit cooler in the eastern part of the state, where Gadsden's reporting 45 this morning. Looks like we are in uh, store after a nearly week um, of dry weather. We are in store for some rain. That's going to come primarily uh, in the Monday, Tuesday time frame for the next five days. Now, let's get to the 06E GFS model run, and uh, there's uh, the pattern for this afternoon. And, of course, you can see that we have the strong ridge over the eastern part of the country, and then that closed low coming into and the trough coming into the Four Corners area. Uh, the closed low uh, ejects fairly quickly and rapidly to the northeast, uh, getting positioned uh, over south. Oh, let's see, what is it? Southeastern South Dakota by uh, tomorrow afternoon at 18Z. And, of course, that means the surface low will be up just to the north of uh, Iowa there and uh, dragging a front down into eastern part of uh, Texas. The upper air pattern uh, shifts eastward, and uh, we see the main trough coming into the Great Lakes and, and stretching back down into uh, Texas, and of course that will drag a front near us on Monday, so we will be introducing a chance for showers, especially uh, in the latter part of the day. The trough goes through on Tuesday, or is moving through, I should say, on Tuesday, and as a result, of course, it looks like Tuesday is going to be our best shot at some showers and thunderstorms, so uh, we have likely in the forecast. Reverting back to the upper atmosphere pattern, uh, that trough gets by and gets into the Carolinas by Wednesday, so we should be clearing out nicely. We stay in a bit of a zonal flow, so you can see even with uh, kind of the stormy pattern that is occurring, we're not going to see temperatures change that much. As you can see, that uh, the pattern is nearly zonal from west coast to east coast 
on Thursday, and it stays that way on Friday, although we're beginning to see the development of a fairly substantial trough uh, in the upper Mississippi River Valley. And, of course, that trough then uh, is, is stronger and digs in across the eastern part of the country on Saturday. And, of course, that means that will probably be dragging a cold front down through our area, so it looks like maybe late Friday and into Saturday. And we've had a string of good weekends, so if we have one uh, Saturday that gets spoiled by some rain, that's not too bad. So next shot of rain comes Monday and into Tuesday, primary threat being Tuesday. The next shot after that comes uh, on uh, late Friday and into uh, Saturday. Now, the European is not quite as aggressive. This is a, a little bit different time. Of course, the, remember the European runs uh, only twice a day and uh, doesn't go out uh, quite as detailed as the GFS in terms of the time stamps. So this is 12Z on Saturday and the European indicating a little less uh, rain fall possibilities, but uh, I think probably the GFS has got a pretty good handle on it. Now, extending out into voodoo country, uh, the ridge returns. There's kind of an interesting pattern around the 23rd and 24th uh, with a bit of a troughiness over the uh, north and northwestern Gulf Coast. So, you know, we'll have to be watching that for a little mischief in there, and that could change the forecast. But right now it looks like the ridge returns, and then when we get out way out on around the 29th, uh, the ridge is definitely there with another uh, strong uh, trough, a deep trough over the western part of the country. Well, that'll do it for this Weather Extreme uh, video. I expect to be back with the next one uh, first thing on Sunday morning. So I uh, hope that you have a wonderful day and enjoy this Saturday, since next Saturday looks like it's not going to be so hot. Hope that you have a wonderful day and Godspeed. Thank you for trusting us to be your number one source for news in all of Central Alabama. In back-to-back -back ratings periods, more people watched ABC 3340 than any other station in Birmingham.